what's up my people bless upon yourself welcome back to the channel leave a like and also subscribe so a man get killing a chill on him, my people by my wife you saw me i say i'm gonna share that with you no quick and fast right resident of the usually quiet moorfield district in chilani were left stunned on saturday after the body of mr brown was discovered in bushes meters away from the house he shared with his wife the man was reportedly found wrapped in a white bed sheet with chap wounds across his body brown's wife who police say is important in assisting them to piece together their investigation has not been located according to deputy superintendent of police winston milton the commanding officer for trelawney the now deceased man and his wife were engaged in a domestic dispute on friday night dsp milton told our news team that threats were allegedly made during a dispute and the woman reported the incident to the police in their bid to squash the dispute cops visited the couple's home mr brown and his wife had a dispute last night after which mr brown's reported a threat mr mistress brown reported a threat made against her at the wakefield police station the police respond by warning the now deceased man to not carry out these threats dsp milton explained however the police were again contacted by residents who reportedly heard a commotion coming from the couple's house on saturday morning Sometime after 7 this morning, that I yesterday, my people, residents of the Moorfield community heard screaming coming from the Browns residence and they alerted the police. On arrival, the bloody body of Mr. Brown was found and his wife was nowhere around the home, DSP Milton told our news team. When our news team visited Moorfield on Saturday, we observed a handful of residents standing at a community shop near the couple's house. One man who spoke to our news team on the condition of anonymity reported that arguments could always be heard coming from the middle-aged couple's home, stating that he lives in the area for a lot of years. The man said that a police vehicle visited the couple's home twice on Friday night. Him and the woman may hear say in a dispute all along. Police come up there last night for come solve the matter but i don't know what happened after that it shouldn't have reached this far said the resident a bloody area littered with rocks just outside the gate leading to the couple's board house told very little of what occurred at the browns residence however as an elderly man led the way to the bushy area where brown was found he pointed to a bloody sheet of zinc a few meters away from the house that was suspected to have been used to trans transport the man's body the elderly man explained that another resident of the community woke him up to share that news of mr brown's death pointing out that morefield is usually a quiet community he told our news team that he is still shocked by the news i just come look and when i come i see the police taking him up I was asleep and I heard them and knocked down the house. When I jump up now, I hear say them kill the man. It looked like them carry him and the zinc come down here, he said, but it looked like them couldn't manage the zinc because the grass was soft, so them couldn't go any further. According to the residents, the couple had frequent domestic disputes. A him married wife. I out there and hear him tell him wife some nasty things. These things don't happen in our community. I don't want to see these things happening in the lane at all. Another residence bemoan. A woman who said that she has lived in the community for seven decades told our news team that she has never seen anything like this before in Moorfield. I feel bad about it, but I saw it go, she said. A long time the man had beat the woman and me here say she reported him a station over and over so i saw it go another woman chime in as investigation into the matter continues dsp milton is encouraging brown's wife to contact the falmouth police we believe that she can assist us in our investigation consequently we are asking her to contact the falmouth cib said the commanding officer so people, leave a like, subscribe, let me know what you guys think in the comment section.